The common opinion by most baby boomers and generation wires is that millennials are a lazy, disinterested, and entitled generation. That we expect to be spoon-fed our opportunities and that we just don't care about the world around us. And that our ADD riddled brains can only focus long enough to get social media followers to one day be insta-famous. But the reality is, is that millennials care. They care a lot, in fact, probably more than any generation before them. Frankly, we don't have a choice in caring or not. There are so many oversaturated web browsers and pages and, and search engine keywords that we couldn't get around caring about the issues even if we really, really, really want to. Take Trent, for example. Now, Trent has become the world's leading activist on the Keystone Pipeline. Moments before learning about it, he was researching a wholesale purchase of the world's most disgusting beer. But when he found out what was happening in Little Rock, Trent had to act. Or take Melanie, for example. Now, she's been posting on Facebook a lot about the Gaza feud, about the, uh, on the West Strip. She was researching the West Swift feud seconds before. Now, frankly, both have lasted for way too long, and we don't really care how or why. Just grow up and end it. Now this, The Daily Stream, is a show for you, the millennial, who in spite of being thrown into a tornado of online chaos and social identity crisis, still care about the world, which to me, frankly, is amazing. Now, I'm Cameron Moulin. I'm your host, because Cameron Dallas wasn't available. <sighs> because Jon Stewart has abandoned us all. <sighs> all right, you, John. All right. Oh my God. Look at Katrina talking to Steven. Do you think she's cheating on Brett with him? I don't know, Amber, that's the rumor. She is blushing. What do you think, James Comey? Bitch, I say we launch a thorough federal investigation of all her texts, emails, anything that she sent over the course of her entire life. Let's see if this Steven rumor holds any water. Oh, bitch, you're so bad. You know it, girl. I'm here to ruin reputations without any substantiated evidence to do so. Oh my god, did you guys see Emily's outfit today? Did she buy the same skirt as me on purpose? Ew, is she like trying to compete with you? What a basic hoe. <laughs> Let's go through her parents' past criminal records. I think her stepdad is running for PTA treasurer, and we could nationally expose his, his ties to the underground gambling scene. Wait, but I thought that he was just hosting a charity poker night at his house. Well, the inquiry itself will ruin his chance at re-election. Bitch, how will that solve the skirt problem? She'll ask Bethany. She'll be so terrified and broken by the whole scandal, she won't try and make a scene or stand out in school. And that skirt you're so worried about? In the trash. <laughs> there he goes again. You are so salty for a six foot eight federal agent. <laughs> Badger in this textbook looks just like Danielle. <laughs> oh my god, so true. Yeah, it's freaking me out. No, it's like a light. Oh my god, so like that light. Hey, Amber, Bethany, FBI Director James Comey, why can't you leave your peers alone? You think you're the most popular clique in school just because you can spread rumors and pick on innocent people, but Everybody knows you're just insecure girls who can't handle not having things your way. Oh my God. Why would Aaron say something like that? I feel slapped. I feel slapped. That can't be true. Everyone loves us, right? That's like our thing. We thought everyone loves us. Maybe Aaron's right. Maybe we should be a little nicer, you know? Maybe we should invite Aaron to the party on Saturday. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, that'd be really nice. That sounds nice. Yeah. I'd like to see yeah. yeah. <clears throat> then we'll get her wasted. Uh, trick her into getting behind the wheel of a car. 
I'm playing a kilo of heroin in the back seat. And, uh, calling the feds and the CIA. They'll do an official investigation of her records, which we can fudge to make it look like she's got ties to the Korean mafia. Yes, that's my bitch! I like being nasty. As we all know, Kim Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in Paris a few weeks ago, which marks the second time in Kim's illustrious career that she's garnered worldwide attention from within a hotel room. <laughs> Went there. Benevolent genius Elon Musk recently unveiled Tesla's new aesthetic solar panel roofs with the aim of bringing solar power to every single home in America. This is otherwise known as part one of Elon Musk's evil plan to harness the power of the sun and one day rule us all. Sports viewership is down 15% this season because Americans can finally empathize with the constant concussions that athletes are getting. Not so much because Will Smith's movie Concussion made any of us care more about athletes, no. But it's because over the past 18 months we have been giving ourselves concussions over and over and over again whenever this election gets brought up. But we're almost free. We are so close to being free from the punishment of listening to a hate-stuffed Oompa Loompa with a god complex, bully, and incredibly well-qualified piece of drywall. Now, this, the past few months have been more a litmus test on how quickly two people can cause a widespread national migraine and a fear of doom than an actual discussion of the issues that Americans face. Now listen, take a breath. I think it's gonna be okay, because to be clear, Clinton is winning with millennial voters. She leads Trump in every single poll, but she is still not polling at even close to Obama levels this time last election. I mean, even with Obama's desperate, the world and the apocalypse are doomed and it's upon us endorsement of her, Sometimes it just feels like Hillary Clinton can't catch a break. And we at The Daily Stream are determined to find out why. Which is why we brought on Tucker Brett. He's a 24-year-old voter who avidly supported President Obama and Bernie Sanders, but still isn't going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Tucker, it is a pleasure to have you on the show. How are you today? It is an honor and a pleasure to be here. Namaste. <laughs> All right, so you're a big fan of Barack Obama. <laughs> That's like practically an offensive question. I, uh, he's the coolest guy ever. Okay, and you voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary. You liked him a lot, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I actually kind of wish he was my literal grandpa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish he made sweet love to my grandma and then gave birth to my mom. <laughs> oh, um, so what I'm trying to figure out, though, is that what I've been told is that you're still not going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, nah. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, even though that both the people that you just said that you really like and support have come out and basically begged you to, to vote for her. Put a little milk on my shirt backstage. Yeah, it's fine. You look great. I, Tucker, I need you to focus on me. I'm trying to figure out why you're not going to vote for the candidate who seems to be most in line with your politics. Mmm, dishonest. <laughs> um, okay, so you're referring to the FBI email servers. Okay, listen, here's the thing. Uh, the first grouping of emails, the FBI deemed that was not prosecutable. There was literally no evidence to prosecute Hillary Clinton in the court of law. Right? And the new trove of emails, we have, we have no idea what's even in that. Mm, you don't know that. Well, that. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. You don't know what's in those emails. That is, is literally what I'm saying to you. Okay, that's literally what I'm saying to you. It's like you're not even using your freaking ears that are on your head, okay? I feel like I'm in like freaking 1984 illusion right now. Very frustrating. Uh, wow. Okay, just, just calm, calm down for a second, Tucker. I, I need you to work with me here. I'm just trying to figure out what it might be... Okay, do you think there's a double standard? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, finally. His, his brain turned on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's funny. Um, do you think, yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. You're, you're upset that all of us are so upset with uh, Donald Trump for his sexual harassment accusations, but Bill Clinton did fairly have a lot of the same accusations throughout his career. So literally what I've been saying this whole time. Okay, now here's my question for you. Don't you think it's a little unfair to judge Hillary Clinton based off the moral fiber of her husband? Isn't that a double standard and oh, bias? Fuck off, dude. I love Bill Clinton. But you just said a second like ago. He is a very relaxed guy, and I know for almost a fact he definitely smokes. <laughs> I, would vote, I would vote for him. Um, okay, well, what, what, what about his wife? Who's she? Hillary Clinton, man. <laughs> Okay, Hillary definitely does not smoke weed. That's a guarantee. Are you, dude, did, uh, can somebody t verify, did he smoke a little before? <laughs> You're cracking me up. Uh, Tucker, I don't, I don't know how to break it to you, but I, I think, I think you're a sexist. What? Yeah. No, are you, are you saying I don't love my mom or something, dude? Because I love her right to the grave. No, no, I'm saying that the only reason it seems like you're not voting for Hillary Clinton 
is because she's a woman. Okay. I think you are sexist. Hmm? What? I said I think that you are sexist. Look at you. You did your muscles. Uh, okay, I, I think that this is a really immature way of going about this, and I think that you know that too, Tucker. Okay, Tucker, hey buddy, <laughs> stay with me here. Are you all right? <laughs> What's the matter? Can, I, can, I, can we get you anything? Okay, I just feel like, you know, now with your big show and your big cameras mm -hmm. and, all, and all, this, all this talk, fancy talking you're doing, mm -hmm. I feel like you're a different guy, dude. I feel like you've changed. From five minutes ago when we met for the first time? Yeah. Um, all right, I don't know what to tell you. I want my baby bottle. What? I said I want my little baby bottle. Is this is this something that you've worked out with my producers? I, mm -hmm. You being serious? Can we get him a baby bottle? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so. Um. Oh well, now we know where those stains came from. Um. All right, I think that this segment's over. I think we're done here. I'm very sleepy. <laughs> Thank you, Tucker. Thank you so much. All right, uh, that brings us into our main story of the night. Frankly, it isn't something that any man particularly wants to admit to. It's a hidden secret dating back since the earliest days of man society. Now, I realize that I am breaking the very first rule of man society by even admitting its existence, but this secret has stunted social progress for too long. So here it is. Some of us, not all, but some of us still do not believe that Hillary Clinton would make a good president based on the fact that she's a woman. Now guys, guys, I know you're thinking of ways of meandering around this and calling me a liar, but just don't. Because when men are alone and this election gets brought up, it is almost an inevitable bridge that we always need to cross. Now, I'm not sitting here pretending to be any better than you. I live in the same patriarchal society, riddled with double standards and an incredibly low sample size of women in positions of power. I myself have had these same absurd thoughts, but as upstanding modern men, you have to be able to follow these thoughts with an outburst of, oh my God, I'm a horrible human being. I can't believe I even thought that. No, no, get back Animal House, Old School and National Lampoon. I know you've made me laugh, but you have massacred my perception of equality. HRC is literally the most qualified candidate in history. She does have a checkered past with her usage of private email server and office. But remember this, guys. Hillary Clinton is 69 years old. She is part of a generation that literally goes to the Mac store for genius tutorials on how to set up email accounts. <laughs> I think we can all agree that whatever minority Trump decides to stereotype and deport this week, or whoever's genitalia he decides to grab, and in spite of the fact that he challenges the uh, essence of a functional democracy, it cannot possibly be as bad as Hillary Clinton using a personal email for work. But the bottom line is that Hillary should be judged by her actions and experience, not in her lack of capability on the basis of her gender. If that's how you're looking at the world, well, we've got just the thing for you. Here is a series of objects that you can use to go and fuck yourself. You've got a very wide array of options based on how serious your sexist beliefs are. They're all here to uh, help remind you that human beings are equal and uh, to help accept that all people deserve to be given a fair chance in the endeavors that they pursue. All right, guys, that's our show. Thanks for joining us this time on The Daily Stream. 